Hi, so this is part one of the App Inventor open source uh, series and uh, part one is just going to be a development overview, uh, a high level um, view of how uh, App Inventor is organized. So again, the main uh, open source website is that link in there and in here we can see this document so is a uh, App Inventor developer overview. That's what we are going to uh, view in this video. So most of you, if you're interested in working with the sources, you probably know uh, a little bit about the project and you have used the project. So these are the interfaces that uh, the end user sees. So uh, this is what we call the designer and this is what we call the blocks editor. In the designer, you drag your, uh, you, you basically create your layout and in the blocks editor you drag and drop the blocks that are basically the code for your application and uh, you will all know that you can either use the Android emulator or you could use uh, a real device, uh, an actual phone through Wi-Fi or through the USB cable. So these different parts of App Inventor, obviously there is a part of the, uh, the system that is not uh, visible to end users which is all the server side so this uh, uh, figure here shows all the technologies that actually go into into app inventor so we can start on the left we can see that the mobile device or the emulator can be uh, that can be used to program and all the stuff that goes into the emulator is in this project called AI Phone App, App Inventor Phone App. Um, on this side, on uh, on the client side, uh, we have both the designer and the blocks editor. So the blocks editor is a Java Web Start uh, application uh, for now. Although most of you will know that we are working on a on on an integration uh, for um, using the blocks editor in the browser with a library called Blockly, uh, but anyway, for now uh, the Java Web Start application is that uh, blocks editor, and this is just pure Java. It uses the uh, blocks editor is the name of the project, and uh, there's another project using there called Blocks uh, Live, which is basically a library of blocks, also written in Java. On the designer part, uh, we can see here that uh, it's actually a WIT or GWT uh, project. The project is called App Engine, and uh, if you're familiar with um, uh, the Google Web Toolkit, that's what GWT stands for, uh, you will know that uh, it has basically two parts. It's a client-server uh, architecture. And uh, on the browser, even though everything is written in Java, uh, the browser renders into JavaScript. So all the client is going to be JavaScript, and all the server is just uh, just Java. And it's uh, it's built on top of the um, Google App Engine. Uh, so you are going to be running Google App Engine on the server. Uh, the client is going to be transformed to JavaScript or compiled into JavaScript, and that is what it's going to show in the in the client. And uh, there's another uh, additional piece uh, of um, there's another project called the Build Server, which actually here it says that it runs in Amazon Web Services, but it actually can run in any anywhere, any cloud service, any computer. You can run it locally as well. So this build server is the guy which is actually going to build the APK files when you click on uh, save to computer or save to or uh, download to device or you create a QR code. So that is a completely different uh, server that is going to be running in a, in a different server, in a different machine basically. So we can. Uh, these these are all the all the parts uh, that um, all the parts that are App Inventor. <laughs> uh, so we can see here the projects and directories. Uh, we have the iPhone, the AI, the App Inventor phone app. 
uh, the app engine project is the uh, GUID application, which is uh, the designer and the the back end. Uh, on the back end is where we store all the um, all the information about the projects, how many projects you have, uh, all basically all the blocks of the projects, and all that kind of thing. The blocks editor is the uh, Java Web Start application, although it will be soon uh, integrated in the browser. Uh, blocks library, uh, it's used in both, uh, you can see down here, that it's used both in the Java Web Start in the blocks editor and also in the build server. Uh, and it's just a, a library uh, with blocks. Uh, uh, it was uh, derived from the MIT Open Blocks library. Uh, the build server is the guy that creates the APK, APKs for you. And then uh, we have two other projects here. Uh, common is just uh, common utilities for all for the other um, the other projects. And components is where uh, all the components that are available um, for App Inventor uh, leave. For instance, the Twitter component or uh, basic components like the um, the label or um, a text box, all that kind of stuff is in the components uh, project. And uh, that is all for now. In the next project, in the next video, we will uh, continue uh, discussing uh, open source development with App Inventor. Bye bye.